Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at the effect of the power factor on AC circuits. What is the power factor effect? Well, it turns out that most loads in AC circuits are inductive in nature, which means there's a phase angle between the current and the voltage. Typically, the current will then lag the voltage. That's the phase angle in between. And of course, the greater that lag, the smaller the power factor because the power factor is equal to the cosine of the phase angle. Now, of course, what we're interested in is that there's a certain component inside the load that requires power. It's typically the resistance in the circuit. And of course, the power delivered to the resistor is the power used by that resistor. And that power will be some requirement. Whatever the device is, that's the load in the circuit, it'll require a certain amount of power. Now, the greater the phase angle, the smaller the power factor, the greater the complex power. Notice that we have the triangle here, which is determined by the phase angle. We know that the reactive power is the power that's absorbed and given back to the circuit by the inductor. We have the power consumed by the resistor, and of course the real power consumed is a given quantity required by the circuit, by the load. And the greater the phase angle, the greater the complex power. Now here's where the problem comes in. The greater the complex power, the greater the current requirement to the load. And of course, even though the inductor doesn't actually consume power, it requires more current if there's a bigger phase angle, therefore a smaller power factor. So what we can say here is that most loads in AC circuits are inductive in nature, therefore causing lagging power factors. And the smaller the power factor, which means the larger the phase angle, the more current is required to provide the power to the load. So what we can see here is that the, what we call the complex power is simply the product of the current times the voltage. Now the voltage will be a given amount of voltage given to the circuit provided by the power source. And of course the greater the complex power, which means the greater the phase angle, the greater the power, the complex power, the greater the current requirement, because that's the only thing you can change here. You can only add to the current, the voltage will be fixed. And since the power consumed is equal to the complex power times the cosine of the angle, oh, and I should call that phi for the phase angle, there we go. And remember that the cosine of phi is the power factor, so the smaller the power factor, the greater the complex power needs to be in order to provide power to the source, and therefore the greater the current provided to the load. And that is a problem. You want to minimize the current required to the load and still give enough power to the load. And so that's what we mean by the power factor effect. If the power factor is small due to a, a large phase angle, we must increase the current to the load in order to provide the real power consumed by the load. That means we need larger complex power which can only be provided by larger current delivered to the source. And so therefore, what we don't try to do is we try to minimize that phase angle, therefore increase the power factor to the maximum possible, close to one, and therefore it requires less current given to the load in order to provide power to the load. And that's the key, and that's what we mean by the power factor effect.